Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Cycle and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign, which basically is me playing legendary Iron Man with uh, twice the enemy uh, pot size plus yellow alert plus all of the hardcore mods that you can find in order to make it just so, so much more difficult. Um, in and about uh, 100 mods, most of which make the game much more difficult. And if you enjoy uh, someone struggling and getting mutilated and skinned alive, then that is definitely the right campaign for you. Speaking about getting mutilated and skinned alive, Hive Swarm Siege is the name of the game. Operation Holy Witch is the next one. We're going to uh, go in with four uh, of our only available soldiers, to be honest. We got Dilly G here, who is going to be the sniper in this mission. We got Roby leading the team. Someone let inappropriate Murphy into uh, the uh, into that team, and he brought his uh, newly skinned um, assault rifle with him. Pink, of course. The only color that we were disapproving of is uh, weapon color because and neon green, and that's basically how he rolls. And we got a new one, um, Euler Cannon. Um, he is one of uh, the last uh, descendants of the famous mathematician uh, Mr. Euler. And uh, after learning about 2.7182 uh, uh, different ways of uh, killing aliens, he then decided, you know what, mathematics is just not my thing. I'll instead go and become a butcher of aliens. Um, so those four are Hopefully not going to completely ruin uh, this approach of defending the civilians. I have no idea what an alien uh, defense swarm is going to look like, but it sounds like chrysalids and it uh, definitely sounds like something I will not be enjoying. So get ready, fasten your seatbelts and here we go. All right, we landed. So let's take a good look here team is down uh, we got zero high ground which is really really bad to begin with having a sniper without having high ground makes it even more difficult than it should be I guess that'll be okay okay uh, so we automatically found the first two packs actually all right wait so one dug in one move to here well fantastic I'm going. let's at least start to hit this guy All right, inappropriate Murphy moves up and cannon here. And try to hit uh, the chrysalid, gets him down to one HP. And Roby overwatches as well. Oh no, I forgot we also got the Chosens. Oh. But at least it's not the Assassin. Choose, uh, chosen shoots to kill, no automatic bleed out, that's okay. And regenerates lost health. That's nasty, but I can live with it. The bewilderment is fantastic. If we focus it down, it will die. And skirmisher would have been fantastic as well if we just so happen to have a skirmisher. So So, I still don't fully understand the uh, turns with the hive. Apparently, the aliens get their normal turn, and that includes the hive. And then there is always that reflex extra turn. Almost as if it would be a separate faction, right? Oh, 
Holy, he just killed her in one strike. And didn't I just almost kill the drone? Like it was down to 1 HP-ish? I think it was down quite quite a bit. Good, so time to massage that hive drone. Come on. That's unfortunate. We leave inappropriate Murphy in the second uh, row. Well, we're not hitting a single shot. Oh, it's embarrassing. Good. So, Dilly. Dilly, my friend. Let's at least try to injure this guy, shall we? Okay, complete focus fire, mind you, and we haven't even gotten one of them down. But in all fairness, we did not really hit very well. I was hoping to see that some of our operatives here, some of uh, the resistance operatives, actually would help us. Good, so resistance operatives. Come on, kill that little ripper here. That's what I'm talking about. Good job. See, now three additional uh, rippers are beginning to spawn. How is that even fair? It is not Saiken. That's the whole point of an unfair run. It is not. That's the whole point. This is just too easy. Let's get that hive drone first. Holy macaronis. Common is pretty much what I just thought. Like, how difficult is it to hit that big chrysalid? It's really not that bi uh, that difficult. 86%. Well, apparently it's more difficult in melee. Alright. There we go, finally. I got it, right? Yeah, Dilly here will likely get attacked by that small uh, chrysalid ripper. And I just want to get rid of this guy. Huh. Missed, of course. Inappropriate, Murphy. The moment that we needed you the most. You had nothing better to do than to just shoot in the air trying and pretending to be an XCOM agent. Not only inappropriate but also insufficient in this mission. I bet you he was yeah wonderful. I was about to say I bet you he was uh, plenty busy with telling a dirty joke. And his comrade is like, dude, we're in the middle of a shootout. Get your shit together. Oh, 
Wonderful. Wonderful. Reload and let's kill this guy. I don't know if we want Murphy to... Nah, let's not heal him yet. He can still take a normal hit from these little rippers. back and cannon just reloads for now tracking short the sloth Ooh. This is taking way longer than I had unfortunately our resistance operatives are all down they are typically really good uh, diversions fact that the hunter can still see us means there is something borrowed in the near proximity okay, I'll go. well or even much 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 worse Oops. That indeed is quite a bit worse. Oh, we get CA protocol. And let's get this ripper down. Once again, it's unfortunately not happening. Cannon moves up. There you go. I almost feel bad for them. They've got no idea what they're in for. Seventy-five percent chance and that's an eighty-six percent chance. Let's get rid of that small bug first. Very nice, Dilly G. Fantastic shot here. And there is a small chance that we're critting and killing this guy. Didn't happen, but maximum damage is great. I really don't understand that those hive drones uh, I believe I'm maybe not getting and fully understanding the mechanics or something is not working as intended why would the hive drone not attack that doesn't make any sense all right we're reloading and let's just kill these small buggers here Again, reload and kill. Only the best. You don't hesitate to pull the trigger. I like that. Moving up. Didn't expect to trigger another pack. I think this is one of uh, those times where you really want to be sure to deal with uh, them. If, if you say so. It's dead. We have to be dead. 
Okay, we got one more chrysalid right there. Elsewise, we have routed them out quite nicely. It's really slow and steady progress. Good, very good. Inappropriate Murphy reloads and just takes this thing out. But I would just continue to move up forward. We were safe here, so why wouldn't we? Be again. Cannon reloads, overwatches, and we're reloading, and then that is that. So... I'm seeing that the spawns are not happening every single round, so something is triggering them. But it's not just like the Lost Swarm, they are not just continuing to push on, on and on and on and on. Okay, so that was great. Everybody is in a decent position. If you say so. Moving up with Diddy G. It is clear. And I think we're just overwatching for now. Scanning. Slowly trying to get all of the civilians. Apparently no one attacks the civilians, so something with the AI seems a bit wonky as well. Normally they are just rushing for the civilians, but we got plenty extra. On the other hand, it seems as if we're really, really, really slowly advancing. But we're keeping as a pack here. I really don't want any surprises. Next up, we're trying to go for that high ground. Copy that. Since we have only dealt with with uh, chrysalid so far, also be prioritizing cover a little bit. Okay, well, we do have overwatches. Yeah, I didn't get it. But in true XCOM fashion, zero hits. And in true XCOM fashion, that Ripper just ran what appeared to be like two vision screens and uh, still could hit us. That's a bit of the problem uh, when you let uh, mortars design enemies. Um, they might not get the kind of right balance, shall I say? And if you just look at this mod here, something must be a bit off, like this is these are even two faction two different factions now I, I i start to understand that i think one of the more annoying aspects is this guy here just came from back here, ran in, ran over and hit hit us without us really having a lot of counterplay. Matter of fact, no counterplay whatsoever. Fast. 
Okay, we're positioning ourselves in a way so that we're tanking with cannon. He still has quite a few hit points. All right. Lots and lots and lots of kills. I might need to look into the modification of the Hive mod this year. Seems odd. What I could imagine is we're having uh, we're having like this reflex action is actually uh, from one of the factions, and the only enemies from this faction that have already spawned are these little are these little chrysalid rippers. And that's why you're seeing two waves of them spawn. Problem that I see with the Rippers is they, in my book, are moving way, way, way too far for still being able to attack. Not happening. No, and that would get us in into the line of fire. We're just I'm just trying to stay alive really. Looks like you got the last of them. It's just me now. Do I have to do everything myself? Okay, so he says they they were the last, but uh to be honest I'm not so sure. But we definitely need to reload. I'm going. Cannon overwatches, Roby reloads, inappropriate Murphy reloads, and Dilly G, you know what? Let's just overwatch with the pistol. I want still want the high ground and want to try to deal with the hunter. See, whilst his faction might be out, at least he said we reached the last of them. Nah, it's not true because he can still tracking shot us. That means someone is scouting for him. Appropriate Murphy moves up and we got a few overwatch shots here. The other criticism that I would have against the Hive so far is it seems that all of them are completely uh, resistance either incredibly good at dodging or have odd times of spawning. I effectively need to overwatch crawl in order to deal with these guys. Okay. Well, that's a start. In 
Prophet Murphy moves up. And... Finally, everybody is on high ground. Not in cover, but he, the Chosen is still far enough away. I don't mind. At the moment, I just want full overwatch just in case uh, if one of these guys is a faceless one. Yeah, it seems uh, these are regular spawns. Just need to time them correctly. So this here is round one. That worked like a charm. And we are taking cover behind a couch. Now that is even better. Like we can position ourselves here, watch a little bit of Netflix on the other side. Deal with the chosen as we see fit in between. Just another day with XCOM. Little bit of tracking shots here and there. Keeping my eye on you. Enjoy these final breaths. So we got one more grenade. That needs to be enough. Inappropriate Murphy will actually heal Roby. We have saved six civilians. I guess that'll be okay. Yeah, not sure about our positioning here, so I would rather go here to make sure that I'm definitely not in line of sight. Uh, inappropriate Murphy overwatches. I would say reload overwatch for cannon and just reload for Dilly G as well might as well position ourselves a slight bit to the to the right Okay, none of these guys seems to be a faceless one, not yet. Spot it out. Got another high ground over here, but really can't use that since this pathetic hunter just doesn't want to move up. Let's just get these civilians out of the way. I don't want to play with uh, risking faceless ones. Multiple civilian contacts have been secured. Come on in. Moving to Overwatch. Obi reloads. On Overwatch. Enemy movement ahead. And I'm just waiting for that guy to come a little bit closer. Half cover, not good enough. Okay, I'll, go. Get out of here. I'll rather take the full cover here. Uh, too many civilians over here. Uh, the chance for a faceless one is just too high. I'd like that high ground, but... 
Nah. Too risky. Oh boy, this is more intense than I was uh, expecting. Specifically, the chrysalids are a pain in the rear. Full cover. We haven't met, but I've sure heard a lot about you. The legendary XCOM and their Nova Commander reunited at long last. Unfortunately, this little party's gonna be short lived. That's the Elder's Hunter. From what we've heard, he's a relentless tracker with an unknown. Good. What we heard is we need to definitely take cover out of line of sight all right overwatch overwatch and appropriate Murphy reloads and overwatches Let's hope he comes a little bit closer. Really? Go on already. Kill all the humans. This one's for you. Yeah, no problem with that. We have enough civilians. like to pull him in a trap a little bit further back I'm afraid it might not be that easy though I'm, I'm trusting you here. Yeah. good overwatch G definitely overwatches a protocol for Roby. And we're going for another overwatch and a final overwatch. The problem with him back here is it's going to be a really, really tough fight. He will not come, so might as well move up. Full cover towards him. But we'll only get half cover. Cannot grapple over here. Hmm. I think we need to definitely start at least um, draining his uh, draining his armor, and luckily the tree actually moved completely away with him. There's the second hit, which will bring us into the territory of bewildering hits. Moving into full cover. 
Not high ground, but would maybe work. And there is the bewildering hit. He's likely going to pull himself up here. Maybe ignites himself. Moving up. I need more firepower to kill him next turn. It's time to make the elders proud. Problem against him in particular is there is just no way to deal with all of his flanking abilities which is why i decided to engage him whilst he's still having a couple of civilians as easier targets apparently he's not using a lot of his actions he's just trying to shoot and prioritize uh, and prioritize that which i'm personally not too offended by Roby moves up, looks him into his dead eyes, and there is a nice crit for seven. Fantastic. Good job, Roby. Just absolutely stellar. Looking for another sniper shot. Mm. Amis. Unfortunate. Cannon moves up. Euler wants to make his grand 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 grandfather proud. This is starting to get interesting. Whatever you say. And inappropriate Murphy has it in his hands. Come on. Yeah. Well, Euler is pressing on. He wants it. He wants it bad. You sure you're up to this? Not a problem. Inappropriate Murphy tries to make up for his really poor performance last round. 88, I think we're not going to get much better than that. Roby needs to take it in his own hands. And there we go. He falls over. And just spits out some uh, last disses against us. Last mockery. Okay, well, that went better than I expected. It is clear. What's over there? All right, so our sniper definitely needs to catch us, uh, catch up. I don't want him to stand all the way in the middle of nowhere Absolutely. inappropriate murphy moves up reloads cannon reloads and roby overwatches
Dilly G. Moves all the way up. And we find ourselves some more high ground to defend. There is potentially one more chrysalid somewhere. At least the swarm is no longer spawning. Uh, so that gives me hope in humanity. Maybe we can actually outlast them. I was really, really concerned that they would be continuing to spawn every single round. And there's just so little count of days that I could come up with. Maybe the battle scanners, but that's a big maybe. Good. We're continuing to move up in the hopes of finding that last chrysalid. And if any of you know just why there are double spawns and why they can attack before you can attack, just leave a comment down below and actually tell me if this is the normal mod behavior that I am uh, to be expecting or if something's wrong. So we're moving slightly closer. On my way. We'll do. And we're still st uh, staying as a pack. I don't want any stragglers here. High ground is nice, but certainly not, not uh, to be used if you were just standing there alone. It's a little bit like Vermintide uh, or Alone in the Dark. You never want to completely move alone. Our numbers. Good. I, I sure hope it's just one more chrysalid. Come on. Um, Moving up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's the guy that escaped with one hit point. I'm going. I hope it's worth it. Cannon moves up and let's just overwatch. No faceless ones, but we've eliminated the chrysalid advance. Okay, and somehow it felt more like yeah, more than 26 enemies. I might be wrong, but it definitely felt like we had killed more than that. I'm also not 100% sure where we do have 24 civilians. Maybe because typically they are attacking the civilians and are just gunning them down much faster. Hmm, I... Sincerely hope that we're not going to see any mod incompatibilities. That would suck. Uh, but so far it seems to be at best uh, equal. 
or slightly tilted against us because those double spawns are somehow weird and specifically spawning and then immediately attacking uh, that is strange i know i've installed a mod that allows reinforcements sometimes to have an extra action but i don't think that that should interfere with the hive Dirty G can take i like return fire in an, in a game like this but long watch uh, for oversight uh, for overwatch triggers with squad side isn't bad either so i think we're going with a classical sniper route roby goes for good old blade storm blade master rather uh, we want medical protocol yes please and a grenadier please i mean he's called oiler the cannon okay fantastic that is fitting mathematical precision when he's using his grenades Hello, Commander. and we got 57 extra supplies that is a huge win big fed plus plus uh, that will give us so much more income good it, it's looking much better since we have won that one mission at least we got another grenadier Very good. So that is Euler. Leo the Cannon Euler. And he's our only Grenadier. So that's good. This here looks very much like the campaign fields. Wounded, tired, wounded, wounded, lightly wounded. And only a few are ready for action. Magnetic weapons still 31 days. All right. More supplies. Thank you. And we're fighting against the hunter. Good. We want to continue making uh, contact here. And there is the end of month number one. Got a big fat paycheck, 207 income. That is huge. Mm. UFO Hans the Avenger. Oh. I don't know if I like that. But it would not be a permanent dark event at least. We would be shot down and we need to potentially deal with a threatening mission. But if I'm immediately building defense uh, matrix but i need a tower in order to research that nah it would be too greedy to say we are sitting this out and we're just letting this one here through um this year will effectively decrease our supply drops by 50 percent for the entire campaign which means it's just you have lost 50% uh, of your income. That's ultra harsh. This is a nasty combination for, for first ones. This here is helpful. Two extra turns on the timers uh, will make it serviceable. I think that this here could save our, our neck. Because that's the almost the only thing that we can do. So we either got a faction hero, which is a Templar. I am intrigued by that opportunity, of course. Or a Reaper, which we can't get because we don't have a sergeant. We can recruit, no, we cannot recruit a faction soldier, and yep, we get a Templar. So, Ataxia, 
and uh, Implacable will be the two that are recruiting this Templar. And let's hope we'll get a good Templar. We sure can use one. Very good. So things are starting to become a bit better. We don't need supplies right now, although they wouldn't hurt. I much rather would like to make contact than maybe get the supplies and... Well, you know what? Let's get the supplies now. Very good. So, we're okay when it comes to supplies. I could use another engineer for sure. And that was the retribution, so that was his monthly, his monthly activity. Very good. So we could take a third. We could take a third building. Training center would allow us um, to upgrade bonds if they come into play, and we actually get bonus abilities. Resistance communications, we're still fine. Yeah, I'm almost thinking we're going for the training center. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. Yeah, let's excavate this one here. Takes a while, but the next one will be more power and then potentially the extra resistance contacts. Commander, we've got local resistance. We're tracking the aliens' progress on this Avatar project. Good, very good. We just started with the Avatar project. And we only got one Our next operation will put up option, which is the rural checkpoints. So the game really didn't even give us the option to counter the UFO, which will simply happen. Great. Human uh, band-aids. Uh, bandits are operating in the AO. Proceed with caution. So uh, this uh, is a side trip for that extra faction cool i w wanted to see them anyways we can get a scientist and we need to destroy an alien relay which i think should be doable ish i think it should be doable we have also progressed on magnetic weapons if we get another scientist uh, then at least from the research perspective we're actually doing relatively well no need to rush that any further and very soon we're going to have the Guerrilla Tactic School. We'll get a Templar uh, very soon as well. Six more days. So things are taking a turn for the better. Uh, but I shouldn't be too happy. Uh, because very, very soon this might just turn into another slaughter uh, fest. And we could lose half of our soldiers. Uh, we are already at uh, corporal rank, which means one more for sergeant. And that means the moment that that happens, we can upgrade to five people. Guerrilla Tactics School is just coming in time. Um, uh, that is quite effective. We've used or we made the best out of the situation that we only had one engineer. And we're three buildings deep at this point and are clearing uh, the second uh, row. And mind you, we just started month number two, so this is a fantastic um, first month. Might as well uh, speed up some of the building process from time to time, but I wanted to expand 
rather and be a little bit more greedy on the uh, supplies which has turned out to be the right call we're 190 uh, we're 190 in so we do have plenty of surplus uh, which in return could allow us to build a few items I am contemplating going with one flashbang grenade we haven't even killed enough troopers so far to uh, to even get the nanoscale vest, uh, vests because we have so many other enemies um, medkit is fine we're okay a flashbang wouldn't hurt against all of the mind controls so maybe we're really doing that Other than that, it seems like we're doing okay, guys. I really like uh, the position that we got ourselves into so far. If you enjoyed it as well, feel free to leave a comment and a like down below. And see you in two days. Bye-bye.